Today, we're gonna be racing an AK in cross country. But in an inflatable dinosaur suit. Guys, I literally cannot tell you how hot it is in this suit. Even right now, without me completely inside it, I am soaked in sweat. So, you know, mile five, it's gonna be hot. What do you expect from me today? I hope you finish. <laughs> wow. I hope you don't spend the night in hospital. Oh my God. <laughs> don't be last. If you beat anyone. If I beat anyone, I will literally be so stoked if I beat anyone out here. If you actually beat someone, I will give you all the money you have in my wallet. Yeah. Like five dollars. <laughs> I'll take it. The real question is, am I gonna beat you? I don't think it's likely. <laughs> but you're saying there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. How's the cookie cake? I haven't had one. No, wait. Is that the pre-race fuel you want? Yes. That's just straight calories. Empty calories, but calories. <laughs> You'll see me in the video plenty of times with Jared right behind me. Oh, maybe. okay. Jared can't even defend himself either. Jared doesn't even know what's going on. The man right now is getting roasted, and look at him. He's so, like, caught up with texting his girl. Sim. He knows. He knew it, he knew he turned around right when you said that. Great Scott, this race is gonna be tough. 88 gigawatts. <laughs> 88 miles an hour. Yo, is this a wig? Yeah, it is a wig. How long did you spend getting you ready this morning? Two and a half hours. <laughs> Tyler, I think today you're gonna be called the Tyler Ranosaurus Rex. <laughs> That's a mouth. No, it's good because it's Tyler Rand. Exactly. Too. Tyler Rand, a source rest. Rockin' bib number 169. All right, so we're heading over. About to hit our first strides in this. My end goal is to break an hour in the 8K. This might be the last time you truly see my face because we're about to go into deep cover. Whose pre-race fit is better, mine or Tyler's? <laughs> and so we got ready did our first strides of the day, and then huddled up for a little pep talk. Boys and dinosaurs, we are in enemy territory right now. Let's bring home the job, boys! Let's go! Okay. Let's go! Okay. Let's go! Okay. Okay. And then just like that, it was time to race. Or should I say, suffer. <laughs> so the race was off and I was already in such dead last place. For some reason this race started up a massive uphill which was nearly impossible to see. Alright boys, made it up the big hill, we are in dead last place right now. And then it was all about the grind. Goals, sub one hour, and to not finish last. Meanwhile, there was an actual race speed run way, way ahead of me. There's Jared and Wyatt. Our boys are looking pretty solid through about the mile mark or so. Jacob right there and Thomas, who's out to get me. And then eventually, about an hour later, no, I'm just joking, just like a few minutes later, this ancient beast emerges over the horizon, trying to chase down all of these runners on the opposite side. And of course, I couldn't really see anything so I was like yo I'm not that far behind I can do this I can go and catch all of these guys with ease hey how far back am I Phil pretty far back okay so maybe I was pretty far back but that was not going to discourage me from my ultimate goal of not getting last so now at the exact mile mark there is Jarrett and Wyatt dominating the field Jason and Ben right behind with Noah right on them. And then Aiden a little bit off. This man was not having his best race. Jacob is cruising very, very nicely. And then Thomas, without the threat of me, is moving up well. But you know, I'm right on their tail. Among these modern machines, here comes an ancient beast meandering along. And check out this shot, guys. This is an out and back, right? So where I am, I have to run all the way down to the end of the field. And then come back. And then I'm finally going to be on the track where these guys are so in the distance i am way behind but i'm about to hit the mile mark just went through mile one nine ten for mile one not too shabby and i was extremely happy about nine ten considering how difficult it was to run in this suit 
Imagine literally running an AK in a sauna and that's what I'm doing right now. But if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will do it for a full half marathon. I'm running through the shade right now. It's such a relief. Just not having to deal with the sun beats everything. Back to the real race now. This is about the halfway point, two and a half miles in. Everyone looking really good. And the rest of this race is on this pavement out and back. Second mile right there, 9-11. So we're actually holding pace pretty nicely. Big downhill, big, big downhill. Cruising. Now we're picking up time. Let's go. So running another 9-10 there puts me on pace to run like a 46 minute AK, which is gonna well exceed my expectations if I'm able to do it. And of course, I'm just now hitting the halfway point. There is a ton of this race still to come, but guys, the end of this race is literally insane. Like, I cannot believe what happens at the end of this race. But right now, there is no one in sight still. I have no idea where I am, except that I am in very last place. Yes, let's go, baby. So the rest of the race is an out and back along this river right here, which makes it so that I can see all of my teammates as they were finishing the race up. Let's go, baby! Home stretch! Come on, Wyatt! Let's go! It's time to kick! Let's go! So here comes Jarrett at the very end. He is going to go ahead and get second place overall. Wyatt is right behind him. Super good races. And I'm still struggling through mile three as Jason and Ben come through. I still have two miles of this race left. Noah coming in as our fifth man. And then Jacob is unfortunately going to beat me in this race. So we're now one and two against Jacob. And Thomas is going to beat me, which means... I might have run the worst 8K of my life, but at least I beat Tyler Spears and the dinosaur. Costume, and speaking of the dinosaur costume, let's get back to the action. Will I break one hour in this race and will I not get last? That is the question. Oh my god, guys. I'm actually not that close to last. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm actually closing the gap on two people. And so I grinded up to them, working towards one of my dreams. These guys were the second to last runners, who, as soon as I passed them, were now the last place runners. Let's go, boys! On me, on me! Come on, let's get it. No walking. But as soon as I passed them, they started walking, which I don't really blame them. Yo, just hit the third mile. 807. What is this? Picking it up, big time. And then the next thing I knew, I was passing my teammate Clay as well. Come on, baby. Give me a kick. Give me a kick. So things were looking good, but then they started to take a turn for the worse. So you see that guy? That guy right there, he's the turnaround. Remember, because this part of the course is an out and back, but with my bad hearing, I couldn't hear him at all, so I just kept on running. And if things weren't bad enough, this happened right after. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. 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 I think I'm good. My suit might be dead though. Oh, that was bad. That hurt. I think the suit might be destroyed too. I thought the suit was done. I was way too far down the course. All was lost, but then my savior arrived. Oh shoot, really? At that post, you're supposed to turn around there. This keeps going for like 20 miles. Oh my God, thank God you came. They're probably running close to six miles. Oh my God. I was back on track and it was time to run down the last place guys, again. 838 mile four and that's really cruising easy thank you for your help and before i knew it i'd already closed the gap it was no longer in last let's go boys good to see you guys again how you doing you better out kick me mile five 657 Riding with the hood off. The dino suit started inflating again, so I threw it back on for the finish. So coming into the finish here, I knew I accomplished both my goals, running under an hour for the AK, which I ran 41.52 for, and not coming in last. I came in fourth to last, which is still a massive accomplishment. And here is the end. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, I appreciate it. Here's two more videos to watch. 2,000 likes, I'll do a half marathon in this. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.